I'm going to demonstrate installing Globus Connect on my Macintosh, which allows me to be able to transfer files using the Globus reliable high-speed file transfer service between one of the CAC transfer hosts, an Exceed transfer host, or TerraGrid transfer host, or other third-party transfer host, and your machine easy and reliable. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and sign in to Globus Online. You notice this Get Globus Connect. Go ahead and click that. Globus Connect supports both Mac, Windows, and Linux. Globus Connect is not meant for machines with multiple users on them, but will work just fine for a single user. If I click Get Globus Connect for Mac, it will go ahead and ask me to download an install package. If I run this install package, if I run this install package, you'll see this Globus Connect. Drag it to your Applications folder on your machine. After that, you can eject that drive. Navigate to your Applications folder and run Globus Connect. The first time you run it, it's going to ask for a setup key. You get this by entering on the Globus website an endpoint name. This is normally your laptop name, so I can call it my work laptop and give a description. In this case, I'm just going to call it my work laptop. Click Generate Setup Key and copy and paste this key into Globus Connect. This is the only time you have to do this per machine. Globus Connect is now up and running. Uh, you normally would in the future you'd only need to start this. So now if I want to transfer files, if I go to you know the umish nix host, it's going to show the files on machine. On the other side, I'm going to use my username, and then you can see my work laptop. If I select that, it's now going to demonstrate show all the files on my laptop. And so now I can use Globus Connect to transfer files between my laptop and the cluster and it will try restarting if a transfer fails or a machine gets rebooted and it should provide faster performance than normally SFTP. It's also batch based so you can queue up files to transfer and do something else and it will keep going. If you have any questions feel free to contact the CAC uh, at flux-support at umich.edu.